Hey guys, it's Judy and her shiny forehead. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about the bread recipe that I love to make. What I will tell you is, even though I sell Pampered Chef, it's not a Pampered Chef recipe. It's actually the old reliable French bread recipe from for KitchenAid. And it uses, as you can see, not a whole lot of ingredients. I guess you could see if I put it there. You can tell I've used it a lot, it's pretty stained. Basically, it's two packages of active dry yeast, two and a half cups of specific temperature of water. It's 105 to 115, and then a tablespoon of salt, a tablespoon of margarine or butter, uh, two cup, seven cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of cornmeal, one egg white, and one tablespoon of cold water. Those last three things you don't use till the very end. So I'll come back to those. And this video may be, I'm not real good at editing videos, so it's probably gonna be connected to another video showing you what the next step is once I get done with this step. But basically what I do is I take my yeast and I'll dissolve it in the water, stir it in real good, and then I'll set my entire bowl inside another bowl, my mixing bowl inside another bowl um, of that has really hot water. And so it keeps the whole mixture warm and it gets the yeast to go ahead and do its thing ahead of time. Now, the recipe does call for you at this point, once it's ready, to go ahead and dump everything else in. I will do that with the salt and with the um, butter, but seven cups of sugar, uh, flour, I'm gonna get everywhere if I try to dump it into this bowl. So what I'm gonna do is show you this as I get it ready and ignore my messy kitchen. Oh, hopefully you can see that. Sorry for the bouncing. So I've got the salt going in and I have the tablespoon of butter. And then I'm at this point, what I do, now the recipe doesn't call for you to do it, but what I do is I go ahead and put on my dough hook and lower my mixer. And I go ahead and turn it on. And right now I'm gonna leave it on custom and not give it any time. And then I'll turn it off once I get all the flour in and I'll set it to knead, which this mixer will do that for you. So what I'm gonna do here is just start adding the flour a scoop at a time. To me, it blends better that way, and I make far less of a mess. Still get a little bit of a mess. And you may be able to see in this picture one of our new products that you will what Paper Chip has done that's different this year is they're releasing some new products, as they always do September 1st, but they're actually making some of them available for purchase right now. Normally, they make you wait to September 1st. This set is one of them. It's a set of two pans, and it's what I'm going to be using for my French bread recipe. Okay. I am still making a mess. Hopefully most of the flour will make it inside. And uh, there's also other bakeware, but they've come out with brand new that is also available. Uh, if you're interested in joining a party to help, I have two fundraisers going right now that are local. One's for a church uh, Oktoberfest event. One's for a local uh, pet rescue. And um, I'm going to just ask you if you're interested in, in making a purchase that you let me know and I'll invite you to one of those parties. Or I'll send you the link to the party so you can join it yourself. And then um, you can make the purchase in the charity will get the benefit of it. Okay, so at this point, what I'm going to do 
So I'm going to stop it. And I'm going to turn it back on. And now I'm going to change the setting. I'm going to roll down here to the word need. And so then I tell it to need and it's going to need it for eight minutes. So I know that's kind of boring. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that are now available on our website. And again, if you're interested, just let me know. One of them is a sheet pan, and it's a nice, heavy sheet pan, heavier than some of them that you might have gotten locally, but it comes with a rack. So if you're baking chicken or something like that that needs to be off, off the uh, pan, this is a great option. These are all nonstick. buy the kit, which is this rack, this pan, and the next pan I'm going to show you, all in one kit. Again, non-stick, and what the uh, other consultants have been doing, who have been uh, sharing videos about what's going on, they have uh, not put any spray in it at all. In fact, you should never put aerosol spray, oil, like Pam. Pam is great in, in a lot of dishes, but on your non-stick, not really that good. I don't know if you heard that the mixer kicked up speed. This mixer is made so that it first mix slow so that you don't throw all the stuff out, and then it speeds up. Uh, so this is the third of the three sets, three pans in the set that you can get. Now, Pamper Chef can be expensive, and depending on what you buy, though, you can get some pretty good warranties on it. Um, and you may or may not know that they, in the spring, came out with a coffee pot, uh, much like a curry, only this one does more than a general, than generally a curry would do, so. Um, this is gonna be mixing for a while. So what I'm gonna do, when I get done with this, as with any yeast bread that you're gonna let rise, it's gonna go into, I usually use a glass bowl with just a little bit of vegetable oil, and I roll it in it, and then it goes into my oven in the proofing setting uh, for about an hour. Then it's gonna come out. I'm gonna cut it in half, and then I'm gonna roll out each one into a flap, and then roll it up and tuck in the ends and that's what's going to go in these pans, and it's going to rise again. So I will be sharing that process with you when we get there uh, in a little bit. If you have any questions, if you're interested in these products, or you have any questions about this uh, bread recipe, let me know. I'm not going to keep you here for another five minutes while it finishes doing the uh, kneading. So just uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Come